Welcome to News and Views. I'm Danae Jones and it's my pleasure to bring you this week's segment. This episode we're at the Chambers. Housed in a former bank from the 1920s, the Chambers is a unique landmark in the heart of Cairns City. With a charming cafe, two bustling bars, a cosy restaurant and an in-house patisserie and bakery. Labelled by locals as one of Cairns' best cafe restaurants and bars, the Chambers offers a unique modern Australian menu headed up by head chef Michael Orford. Today we're talking to the chair of the Cairns Young Chamber of Commerce, Rhiannon Simcox, about a new initiative called the Hashtag Cairns 365 Day Challenge. It's an initiative driven by the Cairns Young Chamber and the Cairns Chamber of Commerce with the purpose of empowering local businesses and organisations and to showcase their brilliant work over the past year. What they hope to start is a challenge that helps to share information about the capabilities within our region in business and commerce. Thanks for joining us, Rhiannon. Thanks for having me, Danae. So, first of all, the Cairns Young Chamber has sort of taken on, uh, I guess, a new life in that it's grown up, hasn't it? Can you share with our viewers where the Cairns Young Chamber now sits within the Cairns Chamber of Commerce framework? Yeah, definitely. It was about, um, well, almost 365 days ago now since we reinvigorated the Cairns Young Chamber. Yep. It was laying a little bit dormant there for a little time and we were just yep. delivering what we call our Emerging Leaders Program. But otherwise we weren't really using the structure that was already lying there yep. to, uh, to better empower our next generations in this region and to build leadership capacity in our next generations. So we decided to... Um, get it going again, reinvigorate it. We formed a brand new CYC subcommittee. Mm -hmm. We developed our own strategic plan and we've spent the last 12 months doing a lot behind the scenes in establishing our structure uh, in a way that no other young chamber or young professional network has ever achieved before in Australia wow. in terms of some of the changes that we've been able to implement within the Cairns Chamber of Commerce's constitution to recognise us. So that's really exciting and that's all happened in the last 365 days for us. It's a huge achievement and historical like you say. Mm. So congratulations, <laughs> I know how much work's been involved in doing that. Now explain to us this initiative. To launch yourselves back into the marketplace, you've come up with a concept to try and motivate the business community, if you like, to share their successes. Can you tell us what you actually have in mind? Yeah, sure. I'd love to share it. It's really exciting. We were sitting around one of our committee meetings having a bit of a chat about how we can celebrate what we've achieved yep. uh, in the last 365 days because we've done a lot and you know there have been lots of challenges along the way and it's always really important to take a breath and look back and be proud of just how far you've come. Yeah. So we thought what can we do that um, is something for us to be able to have that look back and celebrate and then we thought hold on a minute that's very insular of us because there are any number of businesses, organisations, charities, leadership groups all throughout this region who have been doing amazing things in the last 365 days. And so instead of coming up with an idea that was just about us, we wanted to come up with an idea that included or gave the whole community, our whole business community, an opportunity to get involved and also take that little look back and um, share and celebrate what they've achieved in the last 365 days in business. And actually it was an idea that came from Jacinda Ardern, mm -hmm. New Zealand Prime her. Minister, of course. I've got a complete leadership crush on <laughs> Jacinda Ardern. I think a lot of people do. I think they do, I think they do. And it was actually a challenge that she completed online. Um, she completed the 100 day challenge and in 60 seconds she listed uh, all the things that her government had achieved in the first hundred days of being in government. And one of us had come across this video on YouTube and we thought, perfect. This is a perfect opportunity for us to do our own challenge, but extend it to 365 days. But also a really great opportunity to create a hashtag and ask other businesses to get involved too. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I think it's a great idea. Mm. How do businesses get involved? So what's the process? Super simple. Um, we've got a number of launching partners that we're working with at the moment. Mm -hmm. So our launch is toward the end of August. And um, what we hope to create is a bit of a snowball effect. Uh, we launch our video out there and then we've got quite a number of businesses who we've already reached out to and are supporting us and mm -hmm. going to complete their own Cairns 365 Day Challenge video. 
and um, they're going to launch their videos quickly after we launch ours. And what we hope is that by those businesses jumping on board and tagging other businesses that they want to see complete the challenge, it'll create this little effect and a few more people might see it and choose to do their own video too. So it's super simple to get involved. There are no real hard rules to it. It's just simply record a 60 second video on your iPhone listing all the things you've achieved in business in the last 365 days. Upload it to your social media platforms. Hashtag Cairns 365 Day Challenge. Tag Cairns Young Chamber so that we can share it around and celebrate too. And also tag three other businesses that you want to see complete the challenge. And that's it. That's all you have to do to get involved. That's great. And so like you say, it can be done on a simple iPhone. Yep. It doesn't need to be an elaborate production. It's just about getting the video done. That's exactly right. It's about making sure that we're actually creating a bit of a connector. There are there's a real great regional awareness for the Buy Local, Support Local campaigns and I feel mm. like we've really all jumped on board that concept and mm. we like to live by that up here now. Mm. But um, sometimes I feel like we don't really know very much about some of the businesses that are out there in our region and some of them just go about doing what they do very quietly mm. without much fanfare but they're doing really amazing things, really yeah. innovative things, things totally differently and out of the box and they just think differently about business. So we really hope that we can uncover some of these sort of quiet starters. Um, but what we really, really hope to achieve is that our community has much better of an idea about the business capabilities here in this region and that they know who they can support and buy local from. So it makes it easier to actually live that mantra that we've all been saying for the last decade now. Absolutely. Mm. Now, for people to look back on 365 days, they might actually find that quite daunting because, yep. as you say, people just get on with it and forget to actually celebrate the little wins yeah. along the way. Mm. So what would be your message to those businesses that are saying, gee, where do I get started? How do I sort of incorporate all of that into 60 seconds? Mm. Would you suggest that they just pick a few key ones? Yeah, absolutely. Don't feel like you have to fill up the full 60 seconds. It can be a little bit daunting if you think about it. But actually, when we went to write our own um, 60 second challenge, our list, it grew and grew and grew. And we ended up having to cut a lot of things out and succinct, make it really succinct yeah. because we had a lot more down on the, on the page than we thought that we might have. So it's a really great exercise just to go through and reflect. And when you start, we found all these different things that we thought of that we'd actually ticked off in the last year. Um, but it can be daunting to start um, and I'd suggest maybe asking staff to get involved and take some ownership also mm. over this challenge. Great way for them to reflect also on what they've achieved Absolutely. in your business. Um, as well as some of your customers. They can be your biggest cheerleaders and maybe if you're in the grind every day and you don't see it, maybe they do. So maybe yeah. check with them what you've been up to as well. But um, I think the key message is have a stab. It's a really great exercise. It's meant to be a bit of fun. It's not too hard. It's only 60 seconds. So the key message is really just get, give it a go. Yep, give it a go. Yep. And so you're wanting to upload a new one every day or it doesn't matter. How are we doing this? Well, it's designed really for the community to take ownership of this. Yep. The, the idea and the concept sure has come from our, our little group. But what we want is that the community, our business community, our charities, our organisations, our leadership groups, they take hold of this and they take it where they want. So. Yeah, we'd like to see, I mean, we'd love to see lots of videos being uploaded. Yeah. Obviously, that's the goal and that's what we hope to achieve. But we're also not naive. We do have a little bit of a strategy behind the scenes and we're making sure that we're reaching out to some really great businesses that we know of who are doing some excellent work and encouraging them to jump on board um, with us now. Absolutely. And so the key is they must hashtag? Yes. CYC 365 Day Challenge. That's right, Cairns 365 Day Challenge. Okay. And tag three other businesses that they want to uh, see complete the challenge too. Excellent. Mm. Well, we wait with anticipation to see this campaign unfold and congratulations on the initiative. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Danae. There you have it, folks. We have the chair of the Cairns Young Chamber of Commerce, Rhiannon Simcox, actually launching this new initiative out there in the community at the end of August. So if you are a local business out there and you really want to celebrate your successes and get on board, make sure you upload your 60 second video and take part in the challenge. Now, don't forget to share this story, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next week.